So before we get started, uh, there's a really important step when you're installing the SDK. So if you go to uh, games and software, make sure you include tools and uh, look for the SDK here. And uh, when you install it, make sure you install it on the same exact uh, drive that you have Counter-Strike Global uh, Offensive installed in, or it will not work. It, it will launch, but it won't do anything. So make sure that you have them installed on the same drive. Okay, on to the tutorial. Okay, so to get started on our first playable map, we're going to need to learn the basic tools first. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is go File and New. And here we have the basic layout. Um, so this is a little bit con confusing, but once we put a block down, it will make more sense. Over here to the left, you have your toolbar, which has everything you need to really to create a level. Um, we're going to start out the tutorial with the block creation tool, which you either select by clicking on it right here, or pr pressing Shift B as the keyboard shortcut. Now you're going to want to drag it in this top right view, uh, and you can make a block, as you can see here in the 3D view, it's, it's, it'll, it'll show you how big it is, um, and we're going to hit Enter. To create that block and as you can see it's just on the default missing texture so if we want to change that we're going to want to click on the selection tool here which is shift s as the keyboard shortcut click on the block you just selected and go over to here where it has uh, the texture that you currently have selected click browse and look for whatever texture you're going to want to use i'm going to use a developer texture because i like doing that for maps that aren't quite finished yet and we're going to find that one there and uh, you're going to want to go over to the apply current texture selection and it will apply the texture that you have selected to whatever you have uh, selected in the level, so any blocks or ramps or whatever. Uh, so we're going to need a few things to make this actually playable. Um, if you try and run the map right now it'll just give you an error because you don't have any sort of lighting and you obviously don't have a player spawn. So let's add a player spawn. We're going to select the entity creation tool which you can click on it or click shift E on your keyboard and click anywhere in the 3D view to create the entity and it will automatically just create it. Now by default it's going to be a terrorist spawn but if you want to change that to a CT double click on the uh, entity in the 3D view and where it says info player terrorist click on that and then just remove the terrorist and change it to counter terrorist click on that and then click apply. Now, a couple more things that we need in the level before it's playable. We're going to need a skybox to light outdoor sections and just to add light to the level, and you just you, you need a skybox in every level. So we're going to go over to Browse Textures, again, where we were, over here, and we're going to look for Skybox. And you'll see a bunch here. We, we won't be able to select these unless we go to the map properties, so don't worry about those for now. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom and find this one that says Tools slash Tools Skybox. Now we're going to click on the Block Selection tool, and we're going to drag a big one all the way over the block that we already selected and make sure it's bigger in all directions like that hit enter so as you can see right now it's just going to be a solid block so to change that we're going to select it and we're going to go to tools make hollow and we're going to type in 64 just just put 64 don't worry about it for now we're just going to put in 64 and that will be how thick the inner wall will be so now as you can see we have you know, a level here, but the skybox isn't going to do anything without a light underscore environment entity. So go back to our entity uh, creation tool here, click anywhere in the level, double click on the entity you just created, and type in light underscore environment. Click on it and click apply. Uh, so you can place this anywhere in the level, and we'll we'll talk about that in another tutorial, how to actually properly set it up. But for now, this should work. Now I'm going to hit Control s to save it. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this one Video Map. Now to run the map, you can hit F9 on your keyboard. And as you can see, we have some properties that we can set, but we're not going to worry about any of these, uh, except usually uh, hitting Wait for Key Press when done compiling is usually good, because then if you have any errors, you can actually read them, and it won't just go away. Now click OK, and it will start the compile for your map, and in a little bit, it's going to launch the game. So now, as you can see, we are loaded up in the map, and it's not really very good so far, but that's what my other tutorials are going to be for. Uh, so in subsequent tutorials, I'm going to teach you guys how to do many things, including adding props to your level, uh, texturing your level, um, just the general basics of Hammer, and then we'll move on to, you know, different other things as well. Uh, so I actually had an error there. Uh, for whatever reason, Hammer didn't launch my map. Uh, so an, a
Another way of launching your map is going directly into CSGO, uh, opening the developer console with your tilde key, and if you don't have that enabled, you can go to settings and go to game settings and scroll up to the top here and enable developer console and click yes. And the tilde key, which is below the escape key and to the left of the one key, and you type in map and then the name of your map here, video map in my case and then you hit enter and it will load into whatever game mode you have selected. So I hope that helps and uh, yeah, you're welcome for the tutorial guys. Uh, subscribe if you uh, enjoyed or you got any use of it, out of it and um, yeah, have a good one. Bye.